Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you all about how to take care of peafowl, or as they're more commonly known, peacocks. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more information about animals. Now before I start off the video, I do want to give a shout out to Amore Handmade. They make beautiful collars for dogs and if you buy a collar from them, you are supporting indigenous artists that are also women down in Mexico. So I love their collars, I love supporting them and here is the discount code for that. These birds are peafowl and they're native to India but now they're commonly found throughout the United States. This guy here, he's a peacock, that means he's male. And this here is Asia. Asia is a female and females are called peahens and then chicks are called pea chicks although I think I'm going to use my power on the internet to change that to chickpeas so yes from now on we'll be referring to baby peacocks as chickpeas. Peafowl come in a variety of colors and patterns now thanks to captive breeding. Now whether you have a white peacock or a regular wild type Indian blue they all require the same care. So we'll talk about color variants in another video and just stick to talking about general care here. Peafowl aren't too hard to find in America. Small farms like me breed and sell peafowl throughout rural areas, while other breeders have large operations and will even ship birds around the country. The best thing to do is decide what color and patterns you're after and go from there. Adults are much easier to care for than chicks. Chickpeas are difficult to raise and not nearly as hardy as chickens. They easily die from disease, impaction, stress, and other things. I recommend having a little bit more experience with these types of birds before starting off with chicks. But I will be making a chickpea care video soon. Today I'll focus on adults. Because peafowl are such large birds, you actually don't have to worry about small predators with them. So things that you have to worry about with your chickens like hawks and foxes and cats, you don't really have to worry about those animals hurting your peafowl. But you do have to consider larger predators such as dogs, coyotes, things like that can definitely harm your peafowl. Now if you're looking into getting a pair of these magnificent birds, or any bird really, I hope you already understand that birds are loud and noisy. Peafowl are no exception to this and during the spring and summer seem to make it a point to competitively be the loudest noise in the area. Just listen. Now they're known to do this during the night. This has often been the most common reason for people to rehome them. Personally, I think this is a lovely noise, but not everyone does and your neighbors might be pretty annoyed. Peacocks are very large birds, especially with their six foot train feathers, but make no mistake, they are fully capable of flight. When building an aviary, you will certainly need a roof over it. But being that they are large birds, it's easy to find fencing material that will keep them in. But if you do plan on having chicks, use mesh with smaller holes. And if you have predators, do take into consideration what precautions you will need to take to keep predators out of your peafowl cage. A tall aviary is best because peafowl love heights and will appreciate being able to jump to high platforms. As far as size goes, your aviary should be at the minimum 500 square feet of space for a pair. And of course the more space you can provide the better and if you do have multiple birds then you will want to provide a larger pen. When it comes to feeding peafowl, the most common mistake is not providing enough protein. And I don't recommend those flock pellets or crumble feeds. That is for laying chickens and laying ducks. They have too much calcium for what your peafowl needs are. 
Instead, you should feed them an actual pheasant or game bird food. Now, in some feed stores, game bird refers to fighting roosters because they are called game fowl chickens. When I say game birds, I'm talking about wild birds like pheasants. And that's what the majority of their diet should consist of. On top of that, you can also mix in a high quality scratch grain. This varies by feed store, but basically you want something with sunflower seeds, which they love, and just the more different types of grains the food has, the better. An excellent thing to add to your bird's diet is live feeder insects. It's very easy to find feeder insects online and in pet stores. There are several companies that sell packaged insects for chickens, which includes canned bugs, freeze-dried bugs, and dried bugs. But of course, live is going to have the highest nutrition compared to dried having the lowest overall nutritional value. I recommend Rainbow Mealworms and their chicken sampler package. That is a wonderful treat for your peafowl to have them eating out of your hands in no time, and it's very good nutrition for them. If it's your first time feeding insects to your peafowl, mix it into their food first thing in the morning when they're hungry. Use a bowl that the insects cannot crawl out of. Once your birds understand that that's food, they will start craving that and then you can move to hand feeding. Of course, you want to also provide vegetables for your peafowl. Things like bananas, tomatoes, leafy greens will really go over well with them. Fresh plants are an important part of their diet. One easy way of incorporating both plants and extra protein into their diet is to feed them horse quality alfalfa hay. And of course, always provide fresh clean drinking water to your birds. They are a lot easier when it comes to this compared to other birds like chickens and ducks. Their water usually stays fairly clean. So I don't really recommend the drip waters for them. Just a bowl typically works pretty well for peafowl. Peafowl are extremely social animals and bond within their family units. They communicate effectively with other members of their flock and they are just extremely intelligent. So don't ever keep a peacock or a peahen by itself. A male should be housed at least with one female. Multiple males together can work especially when you have space, but this is a lot more complicated and it can go bad at any time. Males compete for dominance and territory during the breeding season, and they can severely injure each other. Their goal is actually to try to pull the beautiful train feathers out of other males. This can cause physical injury as well as emotional trauma for your birds. So if you're new to peafowl, just have one male per cage when you're starting out. Even free range males will drive out other males. Generally, hens can always be kept together. Peafowl are intelligent birds that enjoy environmental enrichment. Keep your birds happy by providing places for them to jump on, they love heights, and make sure to provide a variety of food to stimulate their mind. They also enjoy coverage, so an aviary that isn't completely open will make them feel a lot safer. Peafowl can also learn their name and learn to do tricks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have more questions about how to take care of peafowl, please leave them in the comments down below. I'm gonna be doing more videos about these birds and you can also follow me over on Instagram for more. Thanks, bye.